My name is Karis Pope and I'm actually in the MSc in Water Management part-time whilst working full-time for Welsh Water. This is my assignment 2 video based on GIS in Water Management. Hydroinformatics utilises information and communication technologies using genetic programming or artificial neural networks for example to create models to problem solve hydraulic issues to improve our water management. What is water management? Water management is the management of water resources under set policies and regulations. Water, once an abundant natural source, has become a more valuable commodity due to droughts and overuse. This is a quote taken from www.environmentalleader.com. The water industry needs to have a good water management system to ensure a reliable service can be provided to the customer by maintaining our existing assets and using hydroinformatic tools to predict when there could be issues in the future. Being proactive rather than reactive. Trying to prevent incidents similar to the initial cure of a severe flood. GIS stands for Geographic Information System. Here's a quote from www.esri.com. A geographic information system, GIS, lets us visualise, question, analyse and interpret data to understand relationships, patterns and trends. GIS can be used to store information, example, terrain data, aerial imagery, buildings, water and wastewater asset locations, rainfall, etc. This information can be important to GIS to create a visual. The next slide is a typical example of somebody going out on site with incorrect information. Surprise, surprise. The plan says there's a fire hydrant here. There's no one to be seen. ArcGIS tools can be used to highlight risks for business. The model built to the left has been utilised to highlight where there are numerous water issues, for example, turbidity, pipe burst, loss of supply, etc., within a postcode, creating a visual to the water network team to investigate to prevent any more issues. There are numerous hydraulic models that can be created and utilised using GIS. Here are some examples. These tools can be used to predict incidents using historical data and also take other factors into consideration, example, age of pipe and ground conditions, etc. There are numerous benefits of using GIS to ensure a good water management system, which I highlighted in this video, emphasising the importance of being proactive rather than reactive. I decided to undertake the MSC Water Management course to enhance my knowledge by obtaining a more water specific qualification as my BSc covered a broader range of civil engineering topics. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Karis Pope and my topic has been GIS and water management.